What's oh, happening? What's Facebook B3. What's up? The reason we're sitting here with our shades on is because Jonathan decided to just totally blind the you know what out of us with the new lighting in here, but it is looking I, pretty good. It does so. look good, but I personally feel like I am on <laughs> the sun. <laughs> It's a yeah, good feel though. Like just in the face, just but but it, it, it does look good. All good. You know, it's all coming together. All right, let's jump into some cool stuff today because the the title on this is Dude, map your did, behavior. Map your map your mouth to your behavior. So Some what do we mean by that? that? Map your mouth to your behavior because we hear it all the time. We're with our agents nonstop. We're interviewing agents all day long, and everyone keeps talking about how. They're gonna do this, they're gonna do this, they're gonna crush it, I'm gonna be the top, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna make 100 grand this quarter, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and it sounds great, mm -hmm. right? And then what happens sometimes? They just don't execute them. They do not actually map their behavior. Now, some some them. really do. Some do, yeah, Most absolutely. don't. The ones that you see actually producing big numbers and hitting their goals, those are the ones that are actually mapping their behavior to what is coming out of their mouth. The reality is too, and I wanna, I wanna make sure we emphasize this, it doesn't have to be your top producer in every office, right? If you are not sitting there, if you're sitting there saying, hey, if I get a deal a month or a deal every other month, I'm good and happy and excited and that gives me the lifestyle and, uh, that I want, yep. then, and you're executing on that, then great, that's awesome. Then you are doing exactly what we're saying most people aren't doing. The reality is most people are sitting here saying, I'm gonna do 100 deals this year, and then they only work 10 hours a week. That's a bit extreme, but it's the concept. Yeah, right? but that's the premise, right? It's just you're not, they're not actually doing the things that they need to do if they truly want to achieve what they're saying they mm -hmm. want to achieve. And you know what I think is pretty interesting is people set the bar so high, unrealistically high, when in the reality, what we really need to do is completely lower it. And let's talk about that for a second, because I made a list here just on the way in while we're sitting here this morning, uh, this afternoon now, and a quick list of lead generation activities, right? What do we see the agents doing most of the time? And this is the problem because those, when you're watching this one, you're going to say, yep, doing that or yep, great idea, gonna do that, right? And mm -hmm. so you're gonna see this whole list. So let's let's talk about, let me run through this list for a second and then let's hit the awareness aspect. And my outcome for today is to have you walk away at the end of this podcast saying, I got it, I'm committed, I'm going to do this one thing, not these 20 things, one thing really well because we're gonna become self-aware of what we're best at, what we're gonna have least resistance doing and then we're gonna actually make the steps and make it happen and have the income come to support that lifestyle. All right, so that's just the intent coming out there. So let, let's hit this list for a second. Number one, buy some leads, right? What an industry is exploded for Zillow's bottom line because a lot of agents are actually gonna go ahead and buy the leads and do the things that they're gonna go do. So you can buy the leads, you buy Zillow, you buy Trulia, buy whatever you wanna go do. It's gonna be expensive. You wanna go from there to Facebook, right? Uh -huh. Wait, Facebook. Now here's, let me caveat this. Buying leads works. 100% works. Facebook absolutely works. Working LinkedIn, 100% works. Yep. No question about it. Next one, you can become a focused expired listing master. Like nothing else but knock, knock, knock. Your house come up with expired one interview for the job. Just that and you can crush it. For sale by owners, you know you can go crush it. Just that. I'm talking not and this, just this, this is the fun part about this business, just for sale by owners, there's, I don't care which market you're in right now, there are a hundred plus people with signs in their front yard saying, I need to move, right? So not only is there a listing lead, there's a referral lead on the buyer side, you can make your entire career just on that, right? Then we've got SEO, could you just focus on SEO if you just wanted to get good at that and, and say, I wanna own X real estate market and just getting leads that way. How about divorce attorneys? Yep. People getting divorced. Could you build your entire career helping people divorcing? You've got a sale and two buys if you yeah. do that properly. You've got um, probate, mm -hmm. right? people that are dying. You've got door hangers. Could you make an entire career just by putting something on your door saying, I need this, need inventory, you ever thought about selling, call me. 
just that. Everything works. Um, you can host events. What do we mean by host events? You can do a first time home buyer. You can do a I'm retiring, how to get downsized from my big ass house to a nice one, right? How can I do a, my first rental property? Yeah. All these different things. You just host events and that's all you can, if you just did that, you're going to be able to get as much business as you wanted to go to. How about networking, people in the same hobbies as you, really yeah. get into your tribe. How about those who've been in the business for a while watching, work your past clients and just the past clients and ask for them for referrals. Remember, it all goes back to, can I trust you? Are you good at what you do or do you actually care about me? And the past clients obviously have those things there. Um, next thing I've got is handwritten notes. If you just send handwritten notes to a neighborhood to a teardown to your sphere, that works. How about buying leads from the Red X or Intellius? You can buy the, the list of FISBOs, the list of expireds to go do that. How about putting a blog out? How about doing your own podcast? Doing a podcast, doing right? a blog. Different, different thing here. How about agent referrals? How about the little things like, hey, let me go into census.gov and figure out who lives in this neighborhood. Where do they migrate here from? And if I start to see a trend that most people came from Chicago, then I can actually prospect agents in Chicago to see who's most likely to come down here. If we just did that, you could do well, right? You can get an inside sales agent, hire an ISA to start making calls for you and doing those things. You could buy some predictive analytics, right? You got all these different companies that'll try to sell you leads. And that way you can just focus Craigslist. Right? You could just work the renters. You could just work the rent to own programs that are out there. You can do open house events. And I can keep going on and on and on. Oh, there's, uh, hundreds or thousands of ways. But the, what's the issue? The issue is every single one of these works. And here's the problem. If you're an agent watching, you can think of an agent that is good at every single one of the ones that I just talked about. Right? You can think about an agent in your market, in your office, in your company, in your brand or somebody that you read about that you can see, you can model this one. Worse than that, you can go onto YouTube right now and find a user in every one of these sections. Yep. And you can model that behavior and do the things that you want to do. And it's great, but it's the absolute worst thing in the entire planet because your brain spins out because you have way too many options, way too many paths to take. And you sit there and you grab a little bit of this and you do a little bit of that and you get a deal over here and then you get a deal over there, then that deal closes, and now you're a brand new agent out of business again. So it's the grand opening going out of business sale. Grand opening going out of business sale. I think I think it gets it can get even simpler than that though. I to me, one of the biggest challenges that most agents who are not executing very well face is not only do you have all these options, you know that they exist, and then it's a matter of are you self-aware enough to figure out two crucial things. One, which of these things is best for you based on your personality type, what you enjoy, what you're going to commit to and be consistent at. That's number one. Once you figure that out, does that method, it will work, but what is work? What is, what is the it? What are you trying to accomplish? And the reason being is these two have to go hand in hand. Because while all of this will get you business, will it get you the amount of business that you're thriving for? If you want a deal a month, everything here can be that. If you want 100 deals, 20 deals, 30 deals, 40 deals, while it all can do it, it's all going to take different amounts of time, work, effort, right? All of those things have to be factored, factored in to your lifestyle and being self-aware enough to know that. So, you know, yes, will mailers work? A hundred percent. You have to do them and work even harder to get to 30, 40 deals if that's your goal? Absolutely you will. Will that allow you then to coach your kids or be at the events or do this and do that? So now once you start peeling back that onion, now you can really start to figure out what angle in this business you should go on and I, I know here, as your business partner with our agents, we really spend a lot of time trying to help them and push them down this path and then hold them accountable to that path to make sure that they execute on it. And if you don't have a business partner that's able to do that and you are not able to hold yourself accountable to that, you're gonna have a really hard time no matter which one you pick. Well, I think there's, there's two parts to that. Number one is a self-awareness to know what are you good at? And don't bullshit yourself about this. If you are a really awesome 
nurturing buyer's agent and you're doing a great job and you love it, stop trying to be a door knocking FISBO listing machine. It's just not in your DNA genetic makeup. It's just not. So stop pressuring yourself into thinking you should do something. If you go through a list and say, you know what, I'm going to do this, but inside you feel that anxiety and that pit in your stomach and you're like, I don't want to do it, right? If yeah. you really don't want to do it, then don't do it. You're not going to commit to it. Because even if you do it, you're going to be a fraud. It's going to be sensed. You're going to feel phony. They're going to see right through you and you're never going to get a deal. Never. So the issue is get down to the true self-awareness of what's serious for you. Like today, two new agents were just hired today. Awesome, amazing people. So different, right? One of the girls is works with um, another company in Georgia. She just relocated down here with her daughter and great salesperson. Um, up there has no sphere of influence down here whatsoever and has very knowledgeable about new home builds and new projects and so she is going to follow her self-awareness right now she's got a double whammy here too because she's self-aware to know what she's good at mm -hmm. and she's got us as a business partner that it's going to push her down a path so I think we've got a great tribe here yes. because not only are they amazingly self-aware but they have us who are also very aware of what their strengths and weaknesses are. And how many times do we go say, stop it, get back over here and mm -hmm. get down your track. Yep. Right? The other guy we hired today, amazing person, born and raised here, right? Principal of one of the biggest schools, uh, 26 years. I mean, he's teaching people, he's teaching the kids of the students that he's taught in the same neighborhood for the last 26 yeah, years. It's wild. That, that sphere of influence is Huge. ridiculous. So his business model, He's self-aware to know, and if he, I said to this, did I say, if I ever see you even knocking on a door and I'm driving by, I will slam on my brakes, I will tackle you, and I will kick your ass, <laughs> right? Because that is not what you're supposed to be doing yep. because it's a waste of time. You've got an asset that you've cultivated for the last 26 years. We're going to mold it, we're going to love it, and we're going to work it because you only need two deals right. and a month to get to your goals at this stage of your life to put a big-ass smile on your face. You don't need 12. I mean, he's got a big enough sphere to do... 200 deals, but he only needs to do 24. So we're going to take the pressure off and he's got, he's earning the self-awareness of that yep. one. And he's got us as a business partner to push him in that direction. So that's just a great, perfect example of two completely different. Oh yeah. hundred percent. And this morning we did an amazing training class on how to uh, unbelievably geo target to yeah. just crush it. And we've already been seeing on, on, um, videos of agents doing their videos and doing the things that they're doing that that takes a whole separate breed themselves oh 100 percent. yeah i mean there are some agents that you know when i went to the, the second office that we did the training in there are a couple of agents there that afterwards i had to tell them hey don't do this this is not right? for you like it works but i could tell just given their hesitation and the questions and they just weren't going to be able to commit to it and it wasn't in their dna yep. and that's okay like does that work Absolutely, it works. But again, if you're not going to commit to it, it's not going to work for you. And that's where you need to understand just because you read a headline or the top producer in your office does something doesn't mean that it's right for you. And I think new agents really get caught up in that because they all just are hungry. They want those deals. They want to figure it out. And then they see the other agents doing something and it works for them. And so they just think, oh, yeah, I don't really want to do that, but I'm going to do it because it, it does works. that, yeah. right? Yep. And that is just the absolute worst way to approach this business. Because, I mean, you get the internal conflict of resistance and doubt, fear, and anxiety, and you're dead before you even start. Yep. And you're going to, you're, you're a truly a fish out of water trying to pretend you're something that you're not. And everybody can sense that a million miles away. So well, that, that's why we've got to get to the point of you saying, well, who am I? And following up on that point for a second, too many agents that, and we coach a lot right? Talking to a lot of people, too many people try to augment themselves to become something that they think they should be. Yep. And that is a major, major problem because once you, once you can identify that and say, stop it, you are not built to do this. This is not your strength. This is not your personality. This is not your market. This is not the tribe. This is not your neighbor. There's no congruency in anything at all that you're doing. Stop it. Yep. And let's peel back to be realistic and say, what is your strength? Where is your comfort zone? Where is your vibe? Where is your tribe where you're going to actually be able to inhale and exhale and be in your own skin? Because only when you're in your own skin can you actually connect with people because you're being real. Now, I'm not saying now when you get a more advanced skill, you can be in your own skin 
and relating to other people in their skin too. Yeah. That's a different skill set. But with even out that skill set, be true to yourself and self-aware enough to know what is my path of least resistance that is going to actually work. And if you take any one of these things on the list I just read down, what's going to resonate with you and then do it. Yep. And here's the thing. The people who know you and trust you the most are the people closest to you, your friends, family, your sphere, right? Yep. They like you and know you and trust you because of who you are. So the second you start changing that, yep. you're changing your tribe. You're not speaking to your tribe anymore. You're trying to now speak to You a broke new the tribe. trust of your tribe yeah. too. So you have to realize that by being self-aware, you're actually going to make yourself more relatable to your sphere because you're going to stay in your lane, which is the reason that they love you already. Yep. Right. And it's actually going to allow you to get depth with them and even build even more trust versus trying to get really wide and bring all these other people in that don't know you and trust you. And it's going to take way longer to even work with and, and build that relationship with. So Huge. I just think you're, it's going to push you down the wrong path. Well, let's talk about that for a second because from, let's take our, our company for example, right? we've never been more clear and more comfortable and amazingly hundred percent in our skin than we are right now. Right. right. And so we're, we own and love and embrace the entire concept of attract and repel. Right. And before there's a lot of people are afraid of the repelling side. Cause you want to, I want to be, I want to help as many people as I can. Screw it. Stop it. It's not going to work anyway. Right. So like what we're doing as a company is we know our lane. We know what we're good at. Yep. Right. And we're damn good at the things that we're good at. Mm -hmm. And we are, putting obviously out there kind of what we are. There's, I mean, you talk to us any day, anywhere, anytime, this is what we are. And some people like it, some people don't. Oh, yeah. And that's cool. Every yeah. one of them is fantastic because as we've shifted inside of this company, it's never been more cool. The people have never been more productive and we've never been having more fun and we've never been attracting the caliber of people that we keep continuing to attract because it's completely aligned and completely congruent because of what we are and who yep. we are and we walk the walk and we talk the talk and we do what we say we're going to do. And the vibe is the vibe and it's for some people and it's not for some people. There's, there's 20,000 agents in our marketplace. I don't want anywhere close to that amount. Right? Nope. Take nope. a couple hundred more cool ones and that's it. Well, right? here, and that's where we're going. Here's we're the reality. So, you know, why do we do what we're doing right now? Well, we, we love to bring value obviously, yep. right. To the entire, the entire real estate community for that matter. Yeah, I mean, we, we have agents global, that, global that network now. all over, right. That aren't century 21 in any way. And, and that's great. And we love you guys and we really appreciate you following us. But the other big reason is this gives us an opportunity to show potential recruits and agents that we do want to partner with our approach to the business. What do we believe? What do we, how do we approach it? How do we support? How do we do things? What is yeah. our, what is our approach to real estate? Right. And with that, it's going to either align with theirs or it's not. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. If we weren't self-aware enough and, and lied, right, on, on this content and did not give our true belief on how we approach real estate, or personalities. we're going to attract people, they're going to get here, and they're going to realize, wait a minute, that's not what they actually do. The and there's going to be a huge disconnect, yeah. and they're going to leave, yeah. right? So the only way that this succeeds for us the only way that we continue to grow past the 400 agents we're at now is to build content that brings value and is true to who we are. So you may want us to be something else. You may want us to be 100% brokerage. You may want us to do those things because it's good for you. The reality is it's not what we do. It's not how we operate. It's not our approach. And, and that's okay. It's not going to work for, for everyone. But but the number one thing we can do is just be as transparent and honest and true to who we are as a, as a brokerage and as a company. And I, that, like you said, that's either going to attract or repel. And same thing for you as an agent. I mean, here, I, I know every other broker in our marketplace. I, I know them. <laughs> and they're great people. And many of them are friends of mine too. Yep. Their models are different than our models. There's not right. Theirs is not wrong. Ours is not right. Ours is not wrong. But I know that they don't do what we do and I don't do what they do. And some like what they do and some like what we do. And that's cool. Yeah. And that's awesome. And that's just the way the world works. And I think as a sideline benefit of this one, I know that we're the rising tide raises all boats. So I know all of the, the tactics and the, the hands-on and all the skip tips and skills and tricks and things that we are given to everyone, the world, everyone is raising the value. I mean, nothing 
pisses me off more than seeing a crappy person in the industry because they give the entire industry a bad name. Oh, 100%. Right? And so, and then from a brand perspective, we absolutely love our brand, right? Our brand is phenomenal. I can outsell any other brand all day long, but it doesn't make that other brands bad, right? No. You may be a KW agent. You think you can outsell me as a brand too? Fine. That's what you're supposed to do. Yep. Right? If you're a Remax, you love your brand. Great. Sell your brand. I just know my brand is really easy to sell and it's phenomenal. And I know in a presentation I can exploit, right? Mm -hmm. What the other brands don't have and focus and benefit on the brand, the things that our brand does have. And that's called self-awareness yeah. and sales, right? Yeah. So everyone, you're perfect the way you are. Your grant brand's great. Everything's awesome. Enjoy where you are. Just get damn good at what you are. Yeah. But from an agent perspective, let's take what we're doing because I think it's relevant here. And any agent that ever sees us, we have a lot. We open ourselves up completely. You come to our trainings, hang out yep. at the offices, do whatever you want, because we don't even hire people until we really get to know you. Yeah, right? I mean, we want, we want you to explore all of our content, right? If this is the first time you're ever seeing us, we want you to go to beggins3.com, not because we're, mon we're not, we don't make any money. No, I don't charge this, a penny for right? it. There's no monetization of you by watching or consuming this content in any way. You're not gonna see any ads in our YouTube videos or anything like that. What you are gonna see is what we do and how we approach the business. And we really don't wanna have, it's not that we don't like you or want, don't wanna to talk to you, we just don't wanna have that deeper conversation before you know, hey, we're putting it all out there. Do you, I like the vibe. Do you like the vibe or not? And if you do, cool. Now, once you see it on camera, is it real? And the best yeah. way to tell if it's real is come. Come to one of our sales meetings. Come yeah. to a training. Come talk to us in person. Then, if you still feel like, yep, they are the real deal, they actually right. are living and breathing what they're saying, now we can have a deep conversation on does this, does our model fit into your business and your plan and your goals? And then that's when the relationship starts. And we just feel like that's the best approach, right? To not only build a relationship and a business partnership, but it's just the right approach to recruiting in general. Here's what's fun for me from an, from an agent perspective, because we, we talk with a lot of them, we interview a lot. And um, when I talk to an agent, and you see me doing a bunch of times, I said, look, how many offices have you been to? And if the answer is not at least five, six, seven, eight, other brokerages, is, I'm not gonna talk with you until you've been to that many others. Because here's why. Because one day, you're gonna be sitting in a living room and you're gonna be across from a seller, right? And the seller is gonna say, well, I don't really know if I'm gonna hire you yet. I still have somebody to interview from X, Y, and Z, right? True, it happens all day long, guys, right? You watch, you live it, you know what I'm talking about. So you have to, without conviction, right? With 100% conviction, without a shadow of a doubt say, Listen, I've already done that for you, okay? I am an independent contractor. I can work wherever the hell I wanna work. I can work at any brokerage in one minute, right? Everybody in the planet wants to hire me, right? And so I can work anywhere I want to. And yep. there, I interviewed X, Y, and Z, and the reason why I'm not working at X, Y, and Z is because where I am is better for you, yep. right? And here's why it's better for you, and this is why you need to hire us, right? And if you can't, with amazing conviction, say that, then you're dead, right? Because an agent will come behind you with that conviction and will kick your ass, right? And I don't care what brand it is, but you better be damn proud of it and be, just and believe eat it, in it, believe it, right? Own it, own it, own it, own yeah. it, own it. Now, from an agent perspective, you, I suggest you do exactly what we're talking about doing because if you can put yourself out there however you want to, I don't care if it's a door hanger, or a landing page or a blog or a open house event or whatever you wanna do, but show people who you are, right? Yeah. And don't try to be who you're not because they're gonna see through that crap eventually anyway and not gonna work with you. But if you're real to yourself and you're self-aware and you say, you know what I'm damn good at? I'm good at this, right? Yep. Then be damn good at that and tell everybody you're good at that and that's gonna attract people who appreciate the fact that you're good at that and it's gonna repel the people that don't give a crap yeah. about that and you only want to work with the people who appreciate you, screw the rest of them, right? So from as you building your business, you go through that list of potential lead gen things saying, what resonates with you? What's real? What is not me? What is, what just in my core energy, I just disagree with the whole concept of it. Just kick it to the curb yeah, and come down with one thing and one thing and say, you know what I'm going to do? We're rolling into Q4, right? 
we're basically in it now from a reduction standpoint. Everything you do now is going to pay in Q4 anyway. So from now until the end of the year, what if, what if you said, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually be me. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to do what I'm good at and I'm going to stop bullshitting myself about everything else and I'm going to be damn good at this. And this is whatever this could be. I don't care what it is as long as you care what it is and you say there's not two things, there's not three things, there's not six things, there is one thing and I'm going to get damn good at geotargeting. I'm going to yep. get damn good at FISBOS. I'm going to get amazing at expired. I'm going to really focus on the divorces. I'm going to really get into probate. I'm going to knock on teardowns. I'm going to hit the millennial buyers. I'm going to get the rentee owners. I'm going to, I'm going to work on military buyers, whatever it is, but don't do them all because you're going to suck at yeah. all of them if you try to do all of them. But if you pick one, you're going to be damn good. And that's what I want from my heart and my soul and everything that I have for you is for you to take control over your lifestyle and get damn good at something. Because if I said, there's a FISBO down the street, they're waiting for you right now. We're going to follow you live and we're going to broadcast your listing presentation, right? If you're going to shake in your pants right now, then don't even bother knocking on that FISBO door, right? It's just dumb, yep. right? Then you're better off buying a Zillow lead and sitting around and hoping somebody calls you and drive around and waste your weekend, right? That at least you're self-aware to know that that's what you're good at and love it and buy more leads, yeah. right? Just go all in with what you're good at. That's the self-awareness part on that's that. It the punchline and and just be weary guys I know you're getting pounded by you know different firms and recruiters all day every day it's just the nature of this business oh yeah but if anyone who's sitting there telling you that you know without even really knowing you or you knowing much about them that they can impact and grow your business and help you um, just ask ask follow-up questions really spend time getting to know them because um, I find it hard to believe that you would, they would know that, or even you would be able to know that or believe that, um, you know, in the first encounter without really knowing what else is out there. It's like so. you go up and you meet some girl at a bar. You said, "You know what I like? Let's get married." Yeah, I mean, that's what it is. You're you're getting asked to get married on the first date yeah. by almost every every recruiter and brokerage out there. Um, and listen, when you know, you know, right? There are people that have gotten married on the first date and it's lasted a that's lifetime. True. The reality is the majority of that ends in divorce. So. But here's the other thing. How about from a seller standpoint? Seller says, come on over and list my house. What's it worth? Right? Some of you might say, oh, I can get you 285 yeah. a square uh -huh. foot and we're done. Dead. Right? Versus, wait a second. I don't know yet. Let me come over and talk with you. What's your situation? Yeah. Let me see your house. Let me go back to a little bit of research. Let me come back and show yeah. you what's going on. Do you need on. to sell tomorrow or do we have six months? Right? Do you want what? top of mine? Top dollar or a quick sale? Yeah. Right? I mean, there's a lot of follow-up questions. So ask the follow-up questions. It's why we do what we do. We try and make it as easy as possible for you to get to know us um, before yeah. you know we ever really go down that, that road. Because the reality is I think sometimes, as you know, we talk about on the consumer side all the time, how sellers and, and buyers for that matter kind of take the whole process lighter than they should given the financial impact of the decision. And the same goes for agents. Yeah. When you move your business, Yes, it's a change of a business card. Yes, it's a change of a logo, but don't simplify it. This is your business. It's a change of a lifestyle. Like, this is your business. Whoever you partner with, they are your business partner, right? They are taking, for the most part, they are taking some equity, some percentage of your business, right? And they should be doing something for that, right? That's number one. And you should know what they're gonna do for that. Do you need that? Again, going back to self-awareness, right. does that help you? And if it doesn't, then don't go there, right? And that includes us. If the things we offer, we think we offer a lot of great stuff. Maybe it doesn't impact you. Maybe you don't need the stuff we offer. Well, in that case, why in the world would you pay us a percent of your business? That's right. So just be self-aware enough to know what you need, what you're looking for, make sure it's a good fit because that is you're getting into business with someone and you would not walk into a restaurant or walk anywhere else and say, hey, you want to get in business together? I like your shirt. Right, right. Right? Like you, wouldn't, you wouldn't do that. Um, so don't do that with your business. Don't do that. We tell sellers don't do that with their properties. It, it's just the reality. Run it. Treat your business like a business. Have the business plan. 
And don't be afraid to tell people how you run your business. So I love it saying, seller, oh, you're thinking about selling your house? I would love the opportunity and interview for the job. Here's how I run my business. I do this, 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 this is what we teach our salespeople. We do this, then this, then this, then this, then this. Yep. That's how we roll. Would you like to explore the process together? No, bye. Yep. This is yeah. how we run our business. If you don't, if you do, great. I'll see you tomorrow at 4.30 or 6. Which one's better for you? Yep. That's just how we run our business. That's how we run our business from a recruiting standpoint. We get to know you. We figure out your personality. We figure out your goals. Figure out what kind of lifestyle you're looking to lead. What kind of what puts a big ass smile on your face. And then we go through the self-awareness and our perception of our awareness of what your self-awareness should be. And we figure out what is the path of least resistance that's gonna generate the income that you need to fund the lifestyle that puts a big ass smile on your face. And then we're gonna do this, 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 and this. Would you like to work together? And the answer is yes, sweet, let's do it. The answer yeah. is no, yeah. bye Felicia. Good luck. Right, that's yeah. the way it is. So that's the world, that's, that's what we're doing. So really be true to yourself, be self-aware, let us know what we can do to help you. Yeah, if you need any help, feel free to reach out to us in any way, DM us, comment below, email us, doesn't matter. Um, if, you're, if you're all shopping around brokerages, watch our content, if we're a fit, come talk to us. Um, come to one of our sales meetings, reach out to us, and we're happy to have you anytime. So check it out, and you know, be happy guys, just love what you're doing, and if you're not loving what you're doing, do something different and make sure it's working for you. So that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Yep. Love See you guys. You Keep on watching. See you later. Let us know what we can do to help you. Yeah. Bye.